Hello, thank you for clicking on this video. I'd like to take this opportunity to invite you to subscribe to Flaming Sword YouTube channel where you can access an incredible selection of spirit-filled content that are bound to inspire and captivate you. By subscribing, you will be able to stay up to date on all of our latest productions, so be sure to click on the notification icon. Your subscription is the only way through which we grow our community. Thanks and God bless you. Um, judging from your blood work results, it shows that your iron is a little bit low, but not to worry about that. We can give you um supplement to correct that. But your pregnancy result came back negative. Sorry to let you know you're not pregnant. I came to see Mr. Rido, goodness coach. He sent a letter to me stating that goodness has been chosen to represent the school in a 300 meter race competition. I told my daughter to inform him that I said she wasn't running. Can you imagine? He reached out to Ben directly to get his consent. Marriage is a blessing. The Bible tells us that it is not good for a man to be alone. It's equally not good for a woman to navigate life without a partner. We are designed for relationships. And I know that God has a wonderful man out there for you. Perimenopause. Hmm. Tokumbo. I never expected this to be my reality. This stage of my life. Ah, God. Oh, my God. Freezing my eggs. Where do I even start from? This is just a lot. Do I even start to process all this? I've always envisioned having children naturally. Ah, God, why me? Why? God, I have so many questions. I have so, I'm angry. Will I still have the chance to be a mother? Is freezing my eggs, is it the best choice for me? How do I cope with all these symptoms that seem to be taking over me now? My God. Why is everyone around me so insensitive? How can Joyce tell me I am afraid? And what if I'm afraid? Can you blame me? Hmm. Goodness is only getting through by God's grace. 
I won't be foolish and risk my daughter's life. God, I know you are unquestionable, but despite goodness health condition, you have blessed her with so many talents and gifts. She's intelligent, innovative, athletic, and adventurous. She is a shining star, and I will protect her with everything I have. I'm doing my best, Lord, and I don't care what anyone thinks. Richard, how are you? Fine. Okay. My day was good. How is our daughter? She's upstairs with children, getting her ready for the church. Are you okay? What is wrong? doctor's office today. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, what did she say? Give me the good news. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You must be the tears of God. When the Lord turned around the captivity of Zion, they were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongues were singing. Then said they among the hidden, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, Tokubo. Wherefore, we are glad. Tokumbo, you should be thanking God, not crying. I told you yesterday morning that our season of remembrance is here. Congratulations, my dear. I'm not pregnant, Richard. I'm not pregnant. What I'm going through is perimenopause. Perimenopause? <laughs> Yes, it is a transition between womanhood and going into menopause. Well, according to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
What are you laughing at? This isn't funny, to, um, Richard. It is. <sighs> it is, my dear. When the devil pulls a stunt like this, the first thing to do is to laugh. <laughs> Richard, I don't understand. This news may be contrary to what God said, but it doesn't change what he has spoken over us. Even if you are going through peri, 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 perimenopause, it's just a pause, not the end of our story. I believe in the promises of God. Dear, take your time. Take your time to process your feelings. But remember that we have Bible study tonight. We don't want to be late. You can go ahead. I'll stay back. Tokumbo. Tokumbo. <clears throat> Richard, please, just go ahead. I need some time alone to process this whole thing. And honestly, I don't feel up to it today. Okay. <sighs> I understand. Take all the time you need. But know that I am here with you. And I'm here for you. Yeah? Holy Spirit of God, I pray you strengthen my wife. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. just need to reconsider what decision about goodness. I just felt not allowing her to participate in the competition doesn't seem right to me. Oh, please, Ben. I am just being a responsible mother. This all started because you didn't listen to me last year when I said not to sign goodness up for sports. You wanted to play the nice daddy and now we are facing the consequences. I can't let our daughter run a 300 meter race. What if she runs out of breath? What if she passes out on the field? That is too much risk to take for a sickly girl. To me, our daughter is not sickly. Goodness is not sickly. I won't take that from you. Our daughter is not sickly. She is healthy and strong. We don't just want to allow fear to rule our life. We need to have faith in God and trust in God that she can do the best of her ability. Don't bring religion into this, Ben. I am not in the mood for any of your sermons. <laughs> it is too risky for goodness and I will not allow it. I don't care if she has long legs. She is not running, period. And you better not sign those papers. She is my child and I have a say in her life. I don't want to discuss this any further. That's okay.
pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting you. I know. Well done, my child. You have taken good care of the flower. I entrust her into your care. Thank you, Father. It hasn't been easy, but your grace has sustained me. Look at it. It's flourishing. Mm. It is beautiful. Mm. Johnny, I see you. I see how you nurture the flower, how you take care of the flower, and how you guard it. I see how you haven't allowed it to wither. I see how you have taken good care of it. To me, I'm really proud of you. <laughs> Thank you, Father. To me. Yes, Father. Is there anything, I mean anything, you won't let go for me? Father, I don't know because you haven't asked, but I don't think there is. I love you and my utmost desire is to please you. You are my creator and master. You know me more than anyone else. I don't think there is anything too precious for me to surrender to you. Hmm, don't mean it all. What if I ask you to give me the dearest thing to you? What do you mean? This flower pot and the flower with it. You have kept them in your possession for long enough. What if I asked you to give it to me so that I can showcase it to the world for my glory? Lord, I am willing to give you anything else in this house, but please, not this flower pot. Have you forgotten? The flower pot is fragile. What if it breaks? The flower is delicate. What if life scorching it destroys it? That is too much risk, Lord. No, man, no. But I gave you the flower in the first place. I know, Lord. But please, allow me to continue tending to it. Dome, do you trust me? I believe I do. Domino, blessed is the one who trusts, believes and relies on the Lord, whose hope and confidence are in him. They will be like a tree planted by the waters, spreading its roots by the river bank. They will not fear the heat when it comes, and their leaves will always be green and moist. In times of drought, they won't be anxious or concerned, and will continue bearing fruit. Lord, this is difficult. If you trust me, you will let go. Dome, I am faithful to keep that which is committed into my hands. Yes, Lord. I trust you. I will let go of the flower pot and the flower. I surrender them into your hands. Mm. Well done, my faithful servant. Your obedience and trust bring me great joy. Remember, even though you may release what is dear to you, I will never leave you empty-handed. 
My plans for you are greater than you can ever imagine. Thank you, Lord. Grant me the strength to let go completely. I am with you always. I'm always with you. Trust in me and lean not on your own understanding. I will guide and provide for you every step of the way. I surrender, Lord. I trust in your faithfulness. It's now yours, Lord. Use it according to your will. Well done, my beloved. Your act of surrender will bear fruit beyond what you can imagine. Continue to trust me, and I will lead you on the path of abundant blessings. My child, I don't want her to run for the school. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> what kind of a life is this? <laughs> this feels so overwhelming. I trust in the Lord. But it is just so hard. I understand, Dumi. It is understandable if you feel this way. But I believe her God will watch over our daughter. And she will be okay. Okay? Those were his exact words, Ben. My love, I know it's an uneasy path we've been called to walk. But I know we have our faith and we have God on our side. I know. But the thought of letting our child go, hmm. it feels so unbearable. Jomi, we will keep supporting our daughter and we will keep having faith in God. Even if it, is, if it means letting go our own self-desire and fear. We will try as much as possible to give our daughter the best. You're right, Ben. We need to understand that God's purpose for our life is greater than our own fears. That's true. Together we will navigate this journey. We will show love to her, we will guide her, and we will continue to pray for her. Thank you, Ben. That's all right. I am grateful to have you by my side, supporting me through this journey. Do me. I will always be here for you. We will face every challenges that come our way and be united in love and strengthened in faith. All right. Now let's try to have some rest. Tomorrow is another day so that we can face it with strength and love, okay? 
Okay. Thank you, babe. That's all right. <laughs> we are being tested. And we mustn't let the challenges shake our faith. Regardless of what the doctor said, deep within my heart, I believe that you are carrying our child. I sense in my spirit that now is the time to fight. Fight? Yes. I'm not sure I understand what you mean by that. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1, it is written that there is a season for everything and a time for every purpose under heaven. Mm -hmm. Lately, I have been reflecting on verse 8 since I left this house. It states that there is a time to love and a time to give, a time for war and a time for peace. We have reached a battleground with the enemy. When the promise God gave us last year in Agar chapter 2, verses 18 and 19. Think about this 18th day of December, the day when the foundation of the lost temple was laid. Think carefully. I'm giving you a promise now. While the seed is still in the barn, you have not yet harvested your grain and your grapevines, fig trees, Pomegranates and olive trees have not yet produced their crops. But from this day onward, I will bless you. I shall return to you and perfect all that concerns your body. You shall father a child, and your wife shall conceive according to the time of life. I have a plan, and I will no longer hide my faith from you. My plan for you shall be clear, and you shall know what to do. But you must hold on to me as the anchor of your soul. My word must be the anchor of your hope in me, and you must hold on to it firmly because your life depends on it. Stop worrying about tomorrow. I have my plans, I have my hands on her, and my grip on you both is tight. I won't let go until I have fulfilled my promises to you. You just focus on me. And my world. We just trust, trust in God. Oh, we just trust, trust in God. Yeah, we just trust. Bless you. Making you sneeze like this. All right, there you go. All set. Thank you, You're welcome. Uh, goodness, let me have the letter your coach gave to you. Get me a pen. Now look at me, both of you. I love you both so much, more than words can express. Sometimes you may not fully understand what I am doing, and I won't always be able to explain everything. But please know that I want the best for you and will always protect you, okay? Uh-huh. All righty. Well, you're ready? Get your bags. See? That's your boss. Go on, my darlings. May your day be filled with love and joy. 
You're welcome. <sighs> Stay strong, do You're doing what you think is right for you. How are you Alice, doing? I am doing well. <laughs> oh my God, look at you. <laughs> How have you been? I've been good. The food will soon be ready. Okay. <laughs> no problem. I came <laughs> to spend the entire day with you today. I told Ben this morning that since you have decided not to come around, I will take the lead to come visit you. <laughs> ah, do me. <laughs> See how you are making it look like as if I don't come to visit you. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Truth be told, Auntie, you don't visit as often as you should. Mm. And if I remember correctly, the last time you came to the house was when our girls celebrated their 10th year birthday. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I am guilty as charged. Yes. No. Forgive me. I will do better. I okay. promise. I promise. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, but it's good to see you. Thank you. Yeah, but um, I wanted you to come over today because I really had a couple of things I wanted to discuss with you. Um, and I felt like you, of all people, would understand and honestly i was just gonna call you and um and you know maybe you'll be able to counsel me well i'm here now the lord will lead us so amen. what's going on amen um so um the thing is i've been praying about um my marital status hallelujah what? Do me? You too. You yes. have joined them. <laughs> yes, oh. even me. I've been praying for you. But why didn't you say anything? It's not my place. Oh. And you know I wouldn't have minded. Mm. You could have. I know. But I have learned that people in the waiting room can be sometimes extra sensitive. I understand that waiting on God can be challenging. And it can be very difficult for the person waiting when <sighs> constantly reminded of what they are waiting for. One of the hardest parts of waiting is the pain that accompanies it. Pain is felt because of the situation and hurt from others who, you know, um, add to the pain by making assumptions. Whether a person is waiting for a child, a job, or in your case, a husband. No matter how much we care about them, we must be careful how we express our concerns about the wait. Bringing up the topic may not always be the right thing to do, hmm. especially in an insensitive manner. Hmm. So, Unless God gives me the release to ask, I simply turn my concerns for them into prayers and I keep my lips sealed. Wisdom is profitable to direct. Uh -uh. Okay. How did you get so wise? <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you for sharing, my dear. Thank you. You're welcome. But sorry I interrupted you. So, have you met someone? Oh, to me. <laughs> Actually, no, I haven't. But I've been praying about it. I've actually seen my pastors. I've seen your parents. Oh my God, your daddy gave me a hard time. Mm -hmm, you did. Oh, and, um, you know, I've just been seeking God's face. But I'm, I'm 43. I'm 43 years old. And I just don't know how to trust God for for a miracle like this in my life. I mean... All the brothers in my church, every single one of them, they are all much younger than me. Where am I going to find the right person? Where? 
See, I know. I know that God can do it. But how is God going to do it? How? Where am I going to find that right person? My concern is, I don't think I have enough faith to be able to move this mountain and, you know, just be able to get the results that I want. And so, when I was thinking about it, that, and I remember just how strong your faith is, do me. <laughs> I was like, let me call you, reach out to you. Maybe you can, you know, counsel me. Maybe you can offer some advice. No, auntie. I beg to differ. I am not the faith expert. You know, I wish I could tell you that I always take God at his word. But I struggle sometimes. In fact, I recently failed a test of faith miserably. But um, one thing I'll say is this. You don't need a lot of faith for God to work his miracle in your life. Mm -mm. What you have is good enough. In Matthew chapter 17 verse 20 to 21, the Bible says that even faith as small as a mustard seed is good enough to move mountains. I recently had an encounter with God and he taught me something new. I learned that faith means submitting your wisdom to God's sovereign wisdom. Hmm. Knowing that he is able to work all things out together for your good, just as he has promised. Hmm. Faith will make you lose control. It will make you release the power you have to control things and try to work them out the way you want. We all want to be in control, even when we don't know what we are doing. But faith in God requires that you let go of that control and respect him as our maker. He created us and will always know and do what is best for us. So auntie, as much as you want to control where and how you'll meet your husband, I want to encourage you to let go of your concerns and questions and let God handle them. Oh, to me. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Thank you so much You're for welcome. sharing. Thank You're you. welcome. I really appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. Before I forget, <laughs> guess who is coming to town? Who? Pastor Raymond. Oh, <laughs> Pastor Raymond? Oh, yes. Wow. And, and I know how much you like him. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I have his flyer on my phone. So I'll just go ahead and forward you the invite so check your check your phone okay i think i've already i've already sent it to you okay okay so check your phone okay great i know how much how much I'm, i knew that when i tell you he's around you will want to show up okay so yes yeah i got it wow oh, sure. yeah. so that means you and your team are about to be very busy mm -hmm. now super busy <laughs> we've been doing everything running promos <laughs> flyers and can you smell something ah what's ah, this ah, smell ah, do me my food oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Here you go. Report. I don't understand. Richard, I've taken a pregnancy test every day since last week and they all came out negative. I'm starting to lose hope. Maybe it's time we accept having a biological child of our own isn't meant for us. Chokumbo, it's hard to accept, but we can't let this test define our faith or what God has planned for us. Your work as a woman and a mother goes beyond the result of this test. 
The Bible reminds us. Ah, save it. Richard, you just don't get it. Do you? I know what the Bible says. I don't need to be reminded. I am just tired of waiting and hoping that things will change. It's been 21 years, Richard. 21 years. If this is menopause, so be it. I'm not backsliding. I will continue to love and serve God the rest of my life. I'm closing this chapter for God to give us our own biological child. Needing is enough for us. We have a child to love in her. And as for this desire to carry my own child, ah, I quit. Hmm. And my righteous one will live by faith. But I will take no pleasure in anyone who turns away. For we are not like those who turn away from God to their own destruction. We are the faithful ones whose souls will be saved. Hebrew 10, 38 and 39. Tokumba, Lord, Lord, help my wife, please. <laughs> you look really nice, mommy. I can see that you're having a good time. I am. Europe is beautiful. You and Ben must come and visit this place. Your dad and I were thoroughly enjoying ourselves. <laughs> Where is he, by the way? Um, he's napping. I just wanted to chat with you for a little bit before I go and join him. Oh, it's good to talk with you. I miss you. I miss you too, sweetheart. How are the girls? They are fine. They are still in school. And will be so paid when I tell them I spoke with you. Uh, goodness is preparing for our competition. My dear, how is goodness? She's been good. No crisis. Surprisingly, she hasn't had one in almost two months now. God. The name of the Lord be praised. You know what? The Lord will definitely perfect all that concerns her in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Ma. Please give my love to Daddy. I'll do that. Kisses to my angels, okay? Okay. Bye, Mommy. <laughs> ah, Mommy. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I'm glad she's doing well. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. <coughs> hey! <laughs> Whew. So Ben has been meeting this lady. <coughs> she even calls him Pastor B. <laughs> she calls my husband Pastor B. Wonderful. <laughs> whew, whew, whew. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Looks like, like I have a more serious problem on my hands. Holy Spirit, I don't want to argue. I don't want to argue. Lord, please, 
teach me how to undo this battle. Please, Lord. <sighs> yeah, uh, it's all right. You know, like I said, uh, just make sure you reach out to everyone involved tomorrow. Right, um, Pastor, we already know she'll be ministry on Sunday. But all other people, you know, get them informed about their duties on Sunday. So that's that's how we're going to do it. Um, what time are we leaving tomorrow, sir? Actually, the, the program starts at 6 p.m. But I want us to leave, you know, as early as 10 a.m. I want us to, you know, I want us to get there on time, you know, get prepared so that we can do whatever we need to do. Um, a bit surprised that uh, they didn't even make uh, transportation <laughs> preparation for us. It's all right. You see, Pastor Matthew is like a brother to me, and I want us to treat him so. Uh, actually, they made an offer, but I purposely declined. You know, I want us to see it as part of our ministry's contribution to what they are doing. So he's been a, a wonderful brother. So let it be so. It's all right. So we'll get you on time, you know, get it done. We're back. And we make sure that we're on time tomorrow, okay. sir. Go yes, bless you. Yes, all right, all right, sir. Yes, sir. Very good, Mama. Yeah. Oh, Lord, Father. Hello, Alice. Uh, good afternoon, Pastor Richard. How are you doing? I'm blessed and highly favored. Um, I'm calling to inform you that talks, um, she collapsed at work a few minutes ago. My wife collapsed? Yes, sir. We were all in the break room together and then she said she was feeling warm and dizzy and before I knew it, she, she had collapsed on the floor. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, okay. I'm coming right away. Which hospital was she taken to? Your family hospital, um, one at Methodist Mansfield uh, Medical Center at Mansfield. I'll be heading there right now myself, yes. Thank you so much. I will join you there right now. Okay. All right, um, thank you. Please, God, let talks be okay. Oh, she's such a kind and loving person. Oh, she doesn't deserve this at all. Oh, God. Oh. Good. Oh, Pastor Richard, I'm so glad you're here. Oh. Alice, now tell me what happened. How's she? They've taken her to the emergency room. The doctors are doing everything that they can. I can't believe this is happening. She seemed perfectly okay before leaving the house. Did she do any, anything unusual at the office? Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. We were just chatting, we were just having a conversation. All of a sudden she said she was feeling dizzy. 
Before I knew it, she was on the floor. She had collapsed. Ah. We need to trust God. We need to believe in God. I pray for quick recovery. We're, we're, okay, let's go. Let's go. Upstairs. That's where we have to. I'm meeting someone for prayers. Oh, okay. You didn't mention it earlier. Who are you meeting? I'm a pastor, Domi. I can't possibly tell you all the time when I'm meeting with someone or who I'm meeting. Then we have a problem. What problem? The problem of secrecy, sir. Hiding something away from each other intentionally. The last I checked, they were both naked. The man and his wife. And they were not ashamed. Naked? Who? Are you asking me? Are you not the pastor? Adam and Eve, of course. Oh, Domi. Must we bring scripture into everything? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't change the subject. This is past 9 p.m. I need to know who my husband is meeting for prayers and I am not invited. That's okay. Ruth. Roots. Why didn't you tell me you were meeting with Roots? For the obvious time, I'm a pastor, Domi. I can't always run everything by you. I hear you, sir. But you're not just meeting with anyone. You're meeting this same lady who has refused to have anything to do with your wife, who is also your associate pastor, but only wants counseling with you. When we started this ministry, we agreed that I would be the point person for all the ladies at the church. We also agreed that whenever you need to counsel with any of the ladies, I or another minister will be available. We put these parameters in place to limit your exposure to temptation. I have told you repeatedly that I am not comfortable with the way Ruth keeps relating to you, blocking me off, but you have refused to listen. Oh, so what do you want me to do? I'm supposed to be a shepherd, one who tenderly cares for the flock. Do you want me to stop counseling her? Or do you want us to lose our soul? <laughs> Bernard Olumi De Brown. <laughs> you are not the savior of the world, my dear husband. Jesus has already paid the price of salvation with his blood. The sanctity of our marriage is too costly to sacrifice on the bed of infidelity all in the name of pastoral work and ministry. Uh, are you by any means implying that I could cheat on you with a church member? No. What I am saying is that Ruth is up to something and I will not watch her desecrate the anointing of God upon your life. Babe, think about this. This lady doesn't relate to me. She hardly greets me. I have tried repeatedly to draw her close, but she keeps running miles away from me. Instead, she wants my husband. No, no, she's not having you. Whoever doesn't want me will not have my husband. My dear, just calm down, Dumi. I'm just going there to pray with her. I asked her to go on a three-day fast, which ends today, and I need to go pray with her. Mm-hmm. Okay. Will Brother Promise be with you in church? Hmm. 
Will Brother Promise be with you in church? I'm going to a house. Just trust me on this. I trust you, babe, but I don't trust Ruth. I'm coming with you. Let me get my purse. Child? Yes, your child. But why? Because I made a promise to him. Don't you want him? I do. He's beautiful. Yes. Oh my gosh. I know. I know. Why now? Because the time is right to come up and it's your turn to smile. Sorry, Lord. Oh, sorry for what? <sighs> for losing faith in you. Oh, come back. Even when your faith wavers, I remain true and faithful to my word and character. To come back. I cannot deny myself. I cannot deny myself to come back. Tokumbo, you are awake. What happened? Are you okay? <sighs> Ali said you collapsed in the office. Oh, yeah. So, how do you feel now? Tired. But what did the doctor say? Tokumbo, a doctor said you are 17 weeks pregnant. Surprisingly, the tests were negative all along. I knew it! Tokumbo, you knew? The Lord appeared to me in the room. He showed me our baby. It's a boy, Richard. It's a boy. The best looking baby ever. Oh my gosh, I don't even deserve him. Wow. God works in mysterious way. It's amazing that he revealed everything to you while I was waiting for you to wake up. Just to share the news for you. I'm starting to feel jealous of your connection with God. Yes. God truly loves me. And you know what? I don't deserve you. Richard, thank you for being so faithful and staying strong for me in all of this. Oh my God, I love you so much, Richard. I love you too. I love you too. <sighs> wow. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God. Oh, see who is awake. <laughs> Dr. Jordan. How are you feeling? Tired and happy. I can understand why. This is not a shot of a miracle. It is beyond medical explanation. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, doctor. You are welcome. We are here to take care of you and your unborn child and make sure you both are healthy. I appreciate you. 
and all you've done for me. I am so grateful. Thank you, Dr. Jordan. Thank you for everything you have done. It means a lot. It's our pleasure, and we are glad to help. Anyway, I'll leave the both of you to enjoy the good news. Hmm? <sighs> Talk Ah, talking about you are incredibly brave. Talks. I can't believe what you have been through, and yet your faith remains unshaken. You inspire me every day. <laughs> and you inspire me too. Your unwavering love and support mean everything to me. I couldn't ask for a better partner. We will face this together, Tooks. Our little boy will have the most amazing <laughs> parents. I love you. I love you. I love, I love you, you too, Richard. <laughs> I love our baby boy. God has truly blessed us. Must be him. Hello, Pa. Good evening, Sister Ruth. G good evening, Ma. May we come in? Please lead the way. Lead the way. Wow, something smells good in here. Sister Ruth, are we also having a feast? Uh, uh, uh. Don't worry. Let's pray first and then we will feast. Please allow me to change into something more appropriate before we start. Of course, that's fine. Go ahead. Please make yourself comfortable. Thank you. You're welcome. I want to apologize for being insensitive to your feeling. And is regarding everything you've been telling me about being cautious with Ruth. <laughs> wow. I'm grateful you accompanied me tonight. <laughs> I don't know if I would have been able to resist her. Hmm. Let's just thank God. There is something I need to show you. Hmm. Read this. Hmm. She sent this to you? Yes. By accident. 
Jesus. I don't even know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Just thank God. <laughs> eh? Do me? How did you know all along and yet remain so composed? How did you handle this information with such wisdom and calmness? <laughs> it's the Holy Spirit. I was sitting in the house this afternoon when a text came in. <laughs> Trust me, I wanted to scream and shout the house down. But I remembered to ask the Holy Spirit for guidance on how to navigate this battle. Hmm. Remember the Bible says, it trains my hands for war hmm. and my fingers for battle. Wow, that's Psalm 144 verse 1. Exactly. Hmm. He instructed me to undo you and the situation with meekness to preserve my strength and follow his lead. Hmm. Seeking his help today is one of the best decisions that I have made in this marriage. And look at how everything unfolded. Wow. Lord, please become my wisdom. <laughs> That, my dear husband, is a prayer I will never <sighs> cease to pray from this day onward. Did you see the look on her face when she saw me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So our salvation wasn't journey all along. <laughs> but those prayers, you ignited fire in her bones. <laughs> look at how she sobbed like a baby when you were leading her to Christ. I thank God that everything happened the way it did. Hmm. You were right about us not losing our soul. But your approach was wrong. Hmm. We can't risk losing our marriage over pastoral work. I understand that now. Thank you, my dear. By the time you finished, she didn't even remember the love potion she had prepared for me. <laughs> That's funny, really. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, uh. So, no more secrets? No more secrets. From now on, complete transparency. I don't want anything or anyone to come in between us. <laughs> Domi. I love you so much. I love you too, Ben. Hmm. Our love is worth fighting for. And with God's guidance, we can overcome any obstacle. <sighs> it's been a long day. I think we can go here now. Yes, yes, I'm tired. Uh, at least, Murayo Downs. Have you met her before? Yes, yeah. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a bit confused. Um, I don't recall ever meeting you, but how do you even know my middle name? Alice, the truth is, I genuinely like you. And I want to marry you. I can't marry you, sir. I can't. I put you